In this video, we'll be using the formal definition of limit to prove a limit is equal to a given number. Our formal definition of limit is given up here. The limit as x approaches c of f of x is equal to l means that for every epsilon greater than 0, there exists a delta greater than 0 such that if 0 is less than the absolute value of x minus c, which is less than delta, then the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. So we'll be using uh, this definition to prove that the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared is 4. We know that um, c is 2 because if you'll make your comparison here, x approaches c and x approaches 2. So c is 2. We also know that f of x is x squared. And we know that the limit is 4, so L is 4. So let me write this part of the definition using uh, these values that I know. We have 0 is less than absolute value of x minus 2 is less than delta, then absolute value and then f of x we know is x squared minus and l is 4 is less than epsilon. So we want to make a connection here between these two absolute values. So we'll work with this one and try to get the absolute value to look like this. Well, we know that this is the difference of squares, so we can factor that into x plus 2 times x minus 2, and that needs to be less than epsilon. Now if we divide both sides by x plus 2, and we know that since x is approaching 2, then it's going to be close to the value of 2. So this number that we're dividing by is going to be a positive number, so I don't need to worry about changing my inequality symbol. And this will cancel, and I have absolute value of x minus 2 is less than epsilon divided by x plus 2. So now we have our connection, we have our absolute values the same here. So this tells us that we need to choose delta to be equal to epsilon over x plus 2. Now to find a value for x, let me write this. We can let our delta neighborhood be in the interval from 1 to 3. Since x is approaching 2, so we can let our delta neighborhood be in that interval from 1 to 3. 
and we'll choose X to be the maximum. in that interval. So choose x equal 3. That means then that delta will be equal to epsilon over 3 plus 2, or delta will be epsilon over 5. 